Here you go, Jim. I won't do this to you again, mate. Um, you know, I won't tease you again like this. No, not that stuff. Just over here. Uh, it's all in there, mate. And one on my hand. Okay, um, I'm up at Karamar. It's about 10 minutes from my place. Yeah, I know everything's 10 minutes from my place, but it is 10 minutes from my place. This is where I come. I play here quite a bit, but it's a public course, uh, but it's got a great practice area. That's looking down onto the 10th, um, and it goes up that way, right up that way. Let me just take you up here. That's the 18th, um, coming down there, that's a pretty good hole, standing up on the tee. Uh, can cause you a lot of shit. And over there, I've got a few ankle snappers having their lessons. And um, yeah, just come around this way, mate. Just while I have a mouthful of beer. That's a mouthful of beer, Jim. Yeah, so it's Wednesday, it's sort of late in the afternoon, finished work, and I um, thought I'd come up and hit a few balls. Yeah, so a few people on the range. You, you can probably hear it's pretty windy. It's, um, Perth actually rates uh, in the top 10 cities in the world of the windiest. You know, that includes... Um, Alaska and Canada, all that sort of stuff. So it's a pretty windy place. Um, it's normally hot, but we've, we've got the sea breeze come in, which we um, tend to call the Frio Doctor. So if I'm ever talking about the Frio Doctor, um, that's what it is, it's the sea breeze. And I normally go right down the very far end, away from all the slow learners, all the, all the people practicing, I mean, and um, under the shade of the tree. This putting green. Um, that's the first hole straight down over there. Yeah, so that's it, mate. Um, yeah. So I'm up here. There it is, mate. Right there. Okay. I promise I won't do it to you again. There's my golf bag. Um, got a bit of stuff in there. Let me show you. Yeah, Mizuno's pretty good clubs. Yeah, that's it, mate. And that's the range out there. So it's a really good sort of spot. And um, I'm having a beer for you, mate.